I'm excited to announce today that Dr. Mikel Gion and his team have used our Spitzer Space Telescope to determine that there are actually seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the nearby TRAPPIST-1 star about 40 light years away. What's more, as you can see in this illustration, is that three of these planets, marked in green, are in the habitable zone where liquid water can pool on the surface. In fact, with the right atmospheric conditions, there could be water on any of these uh, planets. So for the first time, we found as many terrestrial planets around a single star, and that's the first time we have been able to measure, in addition to that, both the masses and the radii of these habitable zone-type Earth-sized planets. These planets are among the best uh, in, in, of all the planets we know to follow up, to see, for example, with the James Webb Space Telescope that we're going to launch last year, the atmospheres, and also to look at biosignatures, if there are any. The discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. The big news is that around a very nearby cold small star, we found seven rocky Earth-sized planets, all of which could potentially have liquid water. For me, it's mind-blowing. The first time I saw what the system had in it, I just was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and then I looked at the data myself, I'm like, yeah, there they all are. It's just. I would have never predicted this. It's beyond you know, anything I could have ever dreamt of. I felt super excited, amazed by the existence, the very existence of the system was, was kind of, of, yeah, of shock. Standing on one of these planets, you'd actually see a lot of them sort of in the sky whipping by on these very short orbital periods. It is an excellent, fantastic discovery. In February 2017, NASA announced this truly amazing discovery. And thanks to the NASA artist's renditions, we now have images that have been implanted in our mind of what these worlds may actually look like in all their beauty. This FTP folder contains the raw source files for the TRAPPIST system. They should look pretty familiar when I click through them, as they've appeared in every video and news article announcing this groundbreaking discovery. What you'll quickly find if you go to this folder is that in each of these are a horizontal flat map for each of the quote-unquote planets, complete with a terminator line or shadow, which are used to create a spherical planet by wrapping the square map around a ball in a software program. Each folder contains the same series of files and naming conventions. The square flat map, a circle rendition of that texture, which is used for that graphic, and an animation. Watch as I click through a number of these other folders.
look familiar? The condemning evidence here is the fact that the Trappist system source file maps are in this folder, which are identical to the maps of the planets and moons from our solar system, even though the Trappist system is known to be 100% created by artists. That's right, in each folder for Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are the same files with a naming convention for the square flat maps, the circle rendition, and which is the flat map wrapped around a ball to make it a sphere, and the same animation. Jet Propulsion Lab does not even hide some of these maps, as you can download them from the JPL website. It's extremely simple to take these circle renditions from these square maps wrapped around a ball and add a terminator line or shadow to make it, you know, give it some depth and make it look like it's floating in outer space. Check out this video I made of the nine planets, or excuse me, the eight planets of our solar system. These are all NASA images.
So in conclusion, the Trappist artist's conceptions were made with the same software that created the maps of the quote-unquote actual planets and moons of our solar system. This is why you get images of Jupiter years apart with the same weather. They are the same source file, the same 3D modeling software, and the same animation. This has been Paul on the Plane. Keep it flat. <laughs>